It's April 7th, 2012, uh, and brought me six more little chicks. They're barred rocks, Plymouth rocks. The reason why I got those chickens is because I think they're a dual purpose chicken, if I remember right. I better double check, but that's what I, that's what I gathered. They, they lay brown eggs and stuff. They don't lay as much as the Araucanas, but they get pretty good size too if they're ever to be eaten as meat chickens. Uh, of course, I don't eat meat, but just thought I'd get me a couple of dual purpose chickens anyways to raise them. Okay, so this is what a barred rock hen is supposed to look like when it's full grown. They have the um, really cool kind of zebra stripes on them and stuff. Uh, that's what I call them. <laughs> they're not quite layers. Or, I mean, they are quite layers. They're not quite layers. Like, they don't lay as much eggs as the layers. And as far as a meat chicken, they're not as meaty as the meat chickens, but they're meatier than the layers. So I guess the way to sum it up is they lay more eggs eggs than the meat chickens and they have more meat than the egg layers that's the best way to describe uh, a barred rock a dual purpose chicken um, this is the second week in uh, having these um, chicks the um, third little barred rocks and as you can see they're starting to get their um, barred rock patterns on them they got their cover feathers that'll keep them a little bit warmer um, it, i'd say right now that's probably about 60 degrees out, but they, they seem to be all right. They're kind of huddled together, but I, I gotta clean their cage. I have them outside just for just for the day, and if not, you know, if they want, like to be out all day, that's gonna be fine for them. I got water set up for them. They're fenced in. This is my little garden right here. Uh, I got some lettuce popping up. Um, no spinach has popped up, and I haven't planted anything in this part of the garden yet. But we'll, we'll see what happens. Okay, so that one right there looks like he's starting to get a defined comb, or he or she it. it. But it's that one's starting to really develop the cone first, and uh, even the stripes and everything. But it has more defined black and white. The contrast and everything is a lot more um, standing out. So I'm going to keep an eye on that one and see if that one's going to turn out to be the rooster. The barred rock is also known as a Plymouth rock. When they say barred rock, it's because of the barred patterns that they have. The one that I call the zebra pattern. Um, the other chickens around are, those are the Araucanas. Um, those are actually, they are egg laying chickens. They're not a dual purpose chicken like the, like the barred rocks are. Um, that one, you can notice that some of the chickens have their have feathers missing off their back. That's because the rooster there, you know, he's getting some and stuff like that. The barred rock chickens are actually, if you're a, um, want to do it as a hobby and you're a, kind of a beginner like I am, um, a barred rock is a really good chicken to have because their temperament is very mellow they're good chickens um they're very docile even the roosters are docile i i had a rooster one time um buck but he passed away like when they brood they're um, not obsessive and they're, they are good mothers i guess to their um chicks i'm gonna i someday when the other rooster if it, that is a rooster and he grows up hopefully i'm gonna um brood him or um you know hatch hatch egg, eggs and try and um raise chicks and stuff like that another good thing about them is as you can see they get along with other chickens um they are very good with the weather up here in um, northern michigan you know they could handle the cold i mean i've had it where you know this winter we have we've hit into the single digits and stuff like that and um, they're no problem. One of the chickens, I, I can't tell which one because they're all the same size now, but I know one of the barred rocks is um, at least a year or two older than the other three. Um, I think fr um, from what I've looked up, um, the lifespan of, of a barred rock, they're, 
I, I mean, the lifespan of a chicken in general, if you don't eat them or, you know, they don't die from other things, it's about eight years. See, that that's pretty. I, I, I'm holding my jacket. If you could see, I'm, I'm holding my jacket up really big so that he, he'll, he won't leave you alone. He's very aggressive. <laughs> Back to the barred rock. If you're a beginner, that this is a very good chicken to raise. And then I say you get kind of the best of both worlds because, you know, being a dual purpose chicken. Yeah, we're about three weeks since the chickens got home. And they, it looks like they've grown significantly, um, especially the rooster. Uh, I, I, I'm going to have to start leaning towards that that's a rooster because that's how the um, last rooster uh, d developed last year. Um, I just noticed the um, Coleman and the... Um, I gotta think of what that name is. I'll I'll, I'll add that one in of what the um, comb is and the thing on, um, on his chin, his beard or whatever you want to call it. I I really don't expect to be getting any eggs from him till uh, I'd have to say late September into October, and that, that was according to last year. Again, since. Um, you know, that's what I'm basing all what I've learned about chickens. I mean, I've done some research on them and stuff. A lot of what I'm going to um, put into this movie is uh, from my um, personal experience of raising the chickens and stuff. The um, barred rocks that I had, it seemed like they'd average an egg every two days. As opposed to the Aracanas. I'd, with the Aracanas, I'd get two eggs every three days. So um, that's that would be the difference in the um, you know in the egg laying performance. And that's it. You know. So you know, if the if you do want to raise chickens, they're pretty easy to do. Uh, make sure you get chick starter feed for them because I guess it has you know it's the it's made for growing, um, building up um, vitamins and nutrients and stuff, and then it's also. Uh, has some kind of some medicines to prevent um, some very common diseases. With the information that I've provided in this movie, if you really want to um, get chickens too, also do do some research if you have some doubts. But they are pretty easy to raise. Uh, but the more knowledge, the better. So, but if you decide to raise chickens, good luck on that. And however, whatever path you take. Okay, so the part under the um, chin, it's not called a beard, it's called a wattle. W-A-T-T-L-E, wattle.